empowering you, the grassroots activist. Here is Dr. Chaps. Welcome back, I'm Dr. Chaps. Our next story comes from Associated Press who reports, a great victory for those of you who voted for President Trump, now his administration, and specifically his Department of Education has issued a ruling that transgender athletes, in other words, boys who wanna compete against girls in track meets, can no longer do so with impunity, or at least the government should not be encouraging this. According to AP, now Connecticut's policy, their state policy of allowing boys who pretend to be girls to compete as if they are girls in high school sports. Not only does that violate the civil rights of girl athletes who have always identified as female, but it cheats them out of scholarships and Title IX funding, which should be equally given to female athletes when actually they're robbing the girls when the boys compete. This new ruling is by the US Department of Education and uh, Betsy DeVos, the uh, Secretary of Education appointed by Donald Trump confirmed the ruling and uh, that department wrote a letter in the department's civil rights office in response to one complaint filed last year by several truly female track athletes who complained about boys stealing their medals and they argued that two transgender female, in other words, boys who pretend to be female runners, had an unfair physical advantage and were breaking all of the female running records. With all the testosterone pumping through their bodies, the boys cheated, took away the girls' medals and scholarships and records, and now that has been overturned. The, uh, the office says in a 45 page letter that it may seek to withhold federal funding over the policy. If Connecticut does not reverse this and restore justice to the female athletes, but Connecticut sadly allowed athletes to participate under any gender that conforms with that which with they identify. The policy is a violation of federal law. Title IX, the federal civil rights law, does already guarantee equal education opportunities for women, including in athletics. Of course, if Nancy Pelosi is reelected as Speaker of the House and heaven forbid Joe Biden becomes the president, they vowed to force women to compete with men and deprive women of those scholarships. But here's a quote now from the letter which is dated May 15th. The Trump administration says that they denied, Connecticut denied female student athletes athletic benefits and opportunities, including advancing to the finals and events, higher level competitions, awards, medals, recognition, and the possibility of greater visibility to colleges and other benefits, end quote. In other words, the girls were cheated and now the government agrees. The Connecticut Interscholarship Athlete Conference says that the policy complies with the state law that bars schools from discriminating against boys who lie and pretend to be girls. The girls, however, took a stand and got justice. They lost races to cheating boys and the girls who lost celebrated this new decision. One of the girls said, quote, it feels like we are finally headed in the right direction and that we will be able to get justice for the countless girls, along with myself, who have faced discrimination for years. It is liberating to know that my voice, my story, my loss has been heard and those championships I lost mean something." End quote. The girls sued to block the participation of two boy seniors from spring track meets which were later canceled because of the COVID pandemic, but they were also seeking to erase all records set by the boys who cheated and pretended to be girls. That's the news, or thanks to Associated Press for most of that report with a little bit of interpretation by myself thrown in. Uh, let's take a moment and discern the spirits. Here we have girls who are competing with integrity running their hearts out, trying to win scholarships and coming in second place or third place. 
But the first place winner is this boy who pretends to be a girl, who lies about his identity, even though he still has male parts and never had any kind of surgery or uh, full, pumping full of testosterone, has all the muscular advantages of the male anatomy, is cheating those girls to win his own medals and get his, take away their scholarships for himself. What is the spirit inside of this boy? Is it a female spirit? Maybe he feels like a woman inside and therefore he is a woman inside because he identifies as a woman inside? No, what is that spirit inside of him? It's a demonic spirit of lying and cheating and confusion. Now, he can express himself, he can dress like a girl, whatever, this is America, we have all kinds of freedom to do those things. But when you ask the government to lie with you, when you, when you ask the government to favor those who are lying and cheating and to discriminate against real girls who are trying to uh, you know, compete fairly, you are asking the government to join in the demonic deception. And we pronounce anathema upon any government official who joins the lie. Here's what the Bible says in Proverbs 19. Better is the poor who walks in his integrity than the one who is perverse in his lips and is a fool. Let's pray about this, would you pray with me? Father in heaven, we pray against the demonic spirit that is inside of some lying people, including government officials in Connecticut apparently. And Father, we praise you for this victory that they have been rebuked, that the federal government is listening to the spirit of God, the spirit of truth, the spirit of integrity that would restore justice to these girls who have been cheated. God, we pray that that justice will be upheld after the next election in the years ahead, that Republican administrations in the future will continue to be elected and continue to legislate true rulings about these kind of cases. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm Dr. Chaps, we're offering a flash sale on all of our teaching products when you visit PrayInJesusName.org, click on the online bookstore, and all of our products are now 50% off while supplies last this month only. But in addition to that, we're offering a spiritual growth pack with four of our best DVDs in one package, starting with how to have an effective prayer life, how to have an excellent marriage, real Christianity in an unreal world with Vince Dacchioli, and how to become an effective Christian activist. You can grow in your spiritual life with all four of these DVD products, normally $30 each. That's $120 value for half price, for just $60 and we'll throw in the shipping. So call us right now at 866-Obey-God and say, I want the spiritual growth pack. I want those four DVDs for just $60. Call us right now for this special offer at 866-Obey-God. Dr. Chaps needs your financial support to stay on the air. Would you please send your best donation today? Please visit PrayInJesusName.org to donate online. Or you can mail a check to Pray In Jesus Name Ministries, Post Office Box 77077, Colorado Springs, Colorado 80970. You can also call us toll free right now at 866-Obey-God. That's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. Please sign up for our free emails at PrayInJesusName.org. Again, that's PrayInJesusName.org.